हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप उपाध्याय प्रोफेसर सीनियर कंसल्टेंट रोमेटोलॉजी इम्यूनोलॉजी एट इंद्रप्रस्थ अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स न्यू दिल्ली सो अमंग दी सेवरल फॉर्म्स ऑफ आर्थराइटिस व्हिच इंक्लूड्स इम्यून मीडिएटेड आर्थराइटिस ट्रॉमा डिजेनरेटिव आर्थराइटिस देयर इज ए फॉर्म ऑफ मेटाबॉलिक आर्थराइटिस एंड दैट इज गाउट व्हाट इज गाउट gout is a metabolic uh, disease where the excess production of uh, uric acid uh, deposits in the joints and causes joint inflammation what is affected by gout so the most common joint that is affected by gout is the first toe great toe or the first mtp sometimes it could be the ankle the knee or some other joint but the lower limb joints are the ones most affected what causes gout gout is a metabolic disorder and therefore there is a defect in the enzyme that uh, metabolizes uh, the purines from our diet and nucleic acids subsequently it uh, allows uric acid to build up and the the absence of uricase in in our humans allows the uric acid levels to go very high uricase is present in animals they are able to metabolize that to uric acid and that's uh, metabolize uric acid to other uh, uh, metabolites that are soluble in water and that can be excreted but humans lacking this particular enzyme make and have some genetic problem make more and more of this uric acid which deposits in the joints this is what causes gout what are the symptoms of gout the symptoms of gout are very classical and the classical presentation is a man who in the 30s or 40s or sometimes uh, and most of the times in the middle or old age 60s to 70s after a binge of drinking or after dehydration or or a diet heavy in in purines goes to sleep and wakes up in the middle of the night with severe pain in the in the foot or the first uh, great toe uh, with redness and swelling of that joint uh, the pain rapidly building up in a few hours and, and the situation of the patient being so that even the uh, the air of the fan uh, plying above the patient will cause uh, stiffness and extreme uh, discomfort to the patient how often do gout attacks happen so gout attacks can happen uh, initially very infrequently maybe once every 2 3 months 6 months a couple of years and after a while once the tempo of the disease uh, paces up increases there are times when the patient may have uh an attack every month every 15 days every 20 days but that's uh the more extreme forms of gout and that's where uh, you will have a few swollen joints all the time how does a doctor diagnose gout the doctor uh, or the rheumatologist uh, diagnoses gout by its typical clinical features the history thunderclap sudden onset of arthritis even if this is not a current attack the average patient with gout uh, a male who's overweight is probably diabetic is hypertensive is on several medications or has mild renal disorder and has a family history of gout so all these features would make the possibility of gout in an individual how is gout treated so the treatment of gout is primarily aimed first at reducing the signs and symptoms of the disease uh the pain control is foremost because the pain is excruciating uh the patient is almost bed bound is not able even to drag himself uh, to the toilet and with that in mind uh, one should use a potent anti-inflammatory agent an injectable uh, intramuscular diclofenac or or tablet of diclofenac uh, or other NSAID uh, colchicine is very often used along with Uh, an NSAID which is a painkiller and these combinations usually work in the uh, f- couple of hours or four hours rarely enough you might need an intramuscular 
uh, depot preparation of a steroid so that the pain is controlled uh, faster. And uh, there are times when the patient may need it to be need to be injected inside the joint. So you might need to put in a little aspirate or draw out fluid from a swollen knee or a first uh, toe joint and then put steroid in that joint. Uh, can gout be prevented? Uh, the answer is both yes and no. Uh, in, in short, there are uh, patients who have a very low um, threshold for gout and that threshold obviously has not been defined but they may have very few comorbidities but if they are genetic loading and the family history is very strong, they might develop gout despite all their uh, uh, efforts not to uh, aggravate or bring on gout, uh, which includes keeping their weight low or avoiding uh, alcohol and so on and so forth. But there is the other extreme where you once you get one or two attacks of gout and you want to prevent further attacks, uh, Apart from the medical therapies and urate lowering uh, therapies, you can prevent gout by leading a healthy lifestyle and eating right, avoiding smoking and uh, keeping abreast of the latest information. When should one contact the healthcare provider for gout symptoms? The patient is encouraged to call the healthcare provider or attend his clinic uh, at the first sign of inflammation uh, and when the patient is mobile enough to walk to the clinic or drive to the clinic. Uh, delaying uh, the pain and suffering to the point that it's impossible to even get up and walk to the toilet is very late for gout uh, treatment. So it's best that one should at the first sign of inflammation and pain either use an anti-inflammatory as advised by the doctor or have somebody take you or take the patient to the doctor uh, and get the right treatment. What's the outlook for the people with gout? The outlook for people with gout is extremely good if the patient gets the right medicines and stick to the medicine plan for his or her entire life uh, in most cases then it's likely that there will be no further attacks and even if there are a few small attacks they can be taken care of with joint injections or uh, rescue therapy. How can one manage a gout attack? The management of an acute gout attack is based on the premise that the pain and swelling happens so dramatically and is so severe that the patient should always have a rescue medication close at hand, either in the, in the closet, in the travel bag or the travel kit if the patient is traveling. And that usually is an anti-inflammatory drug along with an acidity agent. So we've just discussed a variant of arthritis called gout where it's not immunity, but a metabolic cause that causes uh, the joints to swell up. It's an eminently treatable condition and uh, the urate lowering therapies, the use of anti-inflammatory medications, all done in uh, the right proportion, in the right order, uh, create an excellent outcome for, for gout. And the overall outlook for gout is near state of cure for patients who are on urate lowering therapy. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. If you have symptoms of sudden onset arthritis of the foot or toe and have chalky swellings around your joint or you have a very high uric acid that's tested on blood tests, meet your healthcare provider, in most cases a rheumatologist or a physician. Namaste.